When we think about the internet infrastructure, we think that this is enabling a global access. But when you more carefully look at it, it's, ex it's actually very much built towards white middle class American engineers. And it's excluding people who are not speaking the English language. And even if people speak the English language, they're not able to program in Arabic. Like, and so Ramzi Nasser, who has created the Arabic programming language, Halbe, clearly demonstrated this, that if you tr your parser will break, Git will break, everything, emails will even break with, uh, 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 with UTF-8. And this is something that needs to be addressed because else a specific mindset is built into the internet. And if we leave people out that will endanger the inclusivity of the internet, which will then endanger its richness and its inherent value. Because it might feel global to us, if you speak English, but the, what, it, what is the real value is to ensure that it's a welcoming space for everyone. We go. Similarly, ICANN deals with uh, human rights issues and recently we managed to get a commitment to human rights in ICANN's bylaw. It hasn't been activated yet because we're still uh, developing a framework of interpretation. But it is crucial that we also hold ICANN to account when it comes to human rights. That it's about uh, community uh, communities applying for TLDs and that they do actually have a priority in this process. That we think about privacy in the uh, in the who is and that people do have freedom of expression online and that the internet is not further centralized and that we create a strong basis of trust on the internet and trust means a respect for the values that we all the planet came together on the universal declaration of human rights So if you are interested in this topic and you would like uh, some more audiovisual material, we made a film about this topic. It's called Net of Rights and you can watch and download it on hrpc.io and um, you can also download it and organize your own screenings if you feel so, feel so too, because it's all Creative Commons. So, and if you as a user would like to uh, take control over uh, your environment, you can have a look into encryption technologies such as uh, the Tor browser and there are also other really low-level entry tools that are very easy to use such as Signal and the creators of Signal have now also ensured that WhatsApp is using end-to-end uh, -end encryption. We should still continue to work on federation though, that we're not uh, dependent on a single uh, single point of control. So it has been used in uh, XMPP. There are challenges there, but we should be ready to take them on. <laughs>